the lowest at n diastole. So you can find that you can find that the dichrotic notch happens at the end of T wave and there is a diastole and this, this is the diastole. At the end of T wave you have the ventricular diastole and at the end of diastole again the R wave happens and you have the upstroke because of left ventricular ejection. So this is essentially the uh, arterial pressure tracing. Now the area under the pressure here that represents the mean arterial pressure when this is divided by the cycle time. If this area is divided by the cycle time, that would represent the mean arterial pressure. So the upstroke up to the dichrotic notch represents systole and the area after the dichrotic notch represents diastole. Now the time that is taken after the R wave to the beginning of the upstroke is the time essentially that takes for the ventricular depolarization to occur. It also includes the time where the uh, isovolumic contraction of the left ventricle occurs, then the left ventricular ejection, and for the pulse pressure to reach the radial artery if your arterial line is in the radial artery, and for the signals to go from the catheter to the transducer. So the 180 milliseconds is the time it takes for all these parameters to occur. So that uh, now in all arterial pressure waveforms, this dichrotic notch, if you measure this at iota, in the iota, that will be called as an incisura, it won't be so, so prominent. But as you measure this pressure at the peripheries, this dichrotic notch becomes more and more prominent. And this is what is uh, this is what is called as distal pulse amplification. Now, this distal pulse ampl amplification is basically because of change in the change in the impedance of the peripheral arteries as as you go more peripherally, and also it is because of a change in the reflection of the pulse pressure. Now, what happens with distal pulse as amplification is there is a later arrival of the pulse pressure, uh, later arri arrival of the pulse as you go distally. For example, the radial artery pulse comes in 60, 60 milliseconds later than an aortic arterial pulse and it, there is also uh, the systolic pressure increases the diastolic pressure decreases the dichrotic notch comes in a little later little later but there is no change in the mean arterial pressure so that is very important so you have a difference in the systolic and the diastolic pressure but there is no difference in the mean arterial uh, mean arterial pressure so this is important to notice because your pulse arterial pressure tracing changes between if you put it in the iota or if you put it in the radial artery. So with compared to the central artery, a peripheral artery has a higher systolic pressure, a lower diastolic pressure and a wider pulse pressure. So this, this represents the iota and this represents the radial artery. You can see that the dichrotic notch up, uh, appears later than here and also the diastolic waveform is more prominent in the radial artery rather than in the central artery. Now this, as I said, this pulse amplification, this is pulse amplification is because of the phenomenon.